Welcome back. We have Valeria with us here today and uh, we're going to demonstrate um, how you will interactively participate in your treatment uh, process, in your trigenics treatment, because trigenics involves interactive participation on the part of the patient with the doctor or therapist with the trigenist. And we're going to just learn how to do that. So the first thing that you're going to learn how to do is how to breathe during the process. And the breath is a two-stage breath. You're going to be breathing in through your nose and your abdomen for stage one. So the abdomen actually comes out when you breathe in, like so. You see how that was? I'm going to do that one more time. The abdomen comes out as you breathe in through your nose. Watch. You see how my hand was raising up? Okay. That's abdominal breathing. Now, in order to get more oxygen into your blood, which is what you want to do for this treatment, then the second stage is you're going to be breathing in through your chest. So this is how we do it. And then you're going to breathe out like this. slowly controlling the breath and making an S sound as you breathe out. It's very important that you do this. There are scientific reasons for all of this, which I don't have time to explain now, but your doctor or your therapist, your trigenist, will be happy to explain them to you. So let's do that one more time. In. And slowly out. So I want you to practice that with me right now. I'm going to do it with Valeria. So here we go. Breathing in. And slowly out. Now as you exhale, you're going to focus on allowing your body to gently relax. The more air that you let out and the more particles of air that come out, the more that you will relax. The other thing that you're going to do while you're breathing out is you're going to, and by the way, you can think of your breathing as your anesthetic, okay, during the treatment, because it will, if you breathe properly, it'll actually decrease uh, your pain, and uh, that's a good thing. The other thing that you're going to do as you're breathing out is you're going to actually think about something. You're going to think about the area that your trigenist is going to actually be applying some tension to. And you're going, to, you're going to think about actually relaxing that area as you breathe out. Now, as you breathe out, you're also going to be moving. So, as you breathe out and as you move, you're going to focus, you're going to think about relaxing the target area, relaxing the area where the trigenist is applying some tension pressure. Okay? Now, if you do it properly, it'll actually relax all by itself. The reason for that is that as you move, your trigenist is going to be applying a little tiny bit of resistance for the strengthening procedure, and he's going to be applying a lot of res resistance for the lengthening procedure. But either way, the resistance that he or she applies will actually cause a reflex to take pl place where the muscles that are contracting are going to send signals to the brain, and the brain's going to send signals back through a reflex loop. If you do it properly, that will cause it to automatically relax. And at that point, you're going to feel the thumb or the, or the instrument that's being used just sink in, and you'll feel the, the muscle just kind of let go. That's what you're looking for. That's what you want to achieve during the treatment as your part in the treatment process. Okay? So here we go. For the strengthening procedure, you're going to use about no more than 10% of your maximal effort, a very, very light amount of pressure. So here would be a strengthening procedure for this upper trapezius area, which is where so often you get a lot of knots. Well, with trigenics, we can alleviate and reduce those knots that you've had for years, literally in minutes, by doing a process that's called the upper trapezius strengthening procedure. So let's do that. Breathing in and slowly out. So observe as she comes down, I can feel, there she is. She's pressing just the right amount on my hand to cause this to relax. Breathing in. And slowly out. Now your trigenist is going to be modulating uh, their pressure as and changing the amount of pressure as that muscle unloads and reflexively relaxes. They're going to modulate and change the pressure. 
the, what, what you, you'll be experiencing at this point is you'll be experiencing actually much less pain than you would normally experience if somebody was just doing a trigger point therapy or just pressing in on it because that's not what we're doing. What the trigenist is doing is actually manipulating the sensors inside the muscle. He's not trying to compress the muscle or strip the muscle or do anything like that. He's just trying to manipulate the sensors inside the muscle. So it's a very refined sort of art almost, if you will, as well as a science. And your trigenist knows very well how to do that, how to get the best response from you. So the most important thing for you to remember at the beginning of this procedure, the trigenic strengthening procedure, is for you to relax completely. So I need her to relax. That's not relaxed. I need her to relax. That's getting there. And she, see, if she, I don't want her to lift her arm. I'm going to lift it there. She's completely relaxed. It's like a dead weight. That's what you want to do. You want it to just be, well, that's not a dead weight. Let's see if we can just let it completely go dead. It's hard to do this, actually. It's hard for a lot of people to do this. But you want to completely relax, totally at the beginning. Breathing in and slowly out. There we go. See, now she's doing it perfectly. And I can feel the response, and we're able to manipulate the sensors. And now this area has become much, much more relaxed, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Good. OK, so now that's the strengthening procedure. And now we're going to do the second procedure that you're going to experience, which is referred to as the neurological trigenics lengthening procedure. And with the lengthening procedure, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using the same breath. And you're also going to be moving, but you're going to be moving with a heavy contractile force, which means you're going to be really moving with a lot of force. Probably mm, probably about 80% of your maximum effort is going to be used in this one. In the last one, it was maybe 10 to 20%. And in this one, it's going to be maybe 80 to 90% of your maximum effort. Not your full effort, but 80 to 90%. And what's going to happen is your trigenist is going to be pressing on or, or putting that, that, manipulating that area. And as you do that, you're going to be, you're going to be applying a lot of pressure and force in your, in your contraction of the muscle. And believe it or not, you're actually going to feel the muscle relax while you're contracting it. I know that sounds strange, but that also happens to be tied into specific reflexes that protect your muscles from breaking. And we're going to actually engage those reflexes and cause that area to actually relax during the treatment, which at the end, as the end result of the lengthening procedure will be that this, there'll be less signals going to the muscle and the muscle will actually elongate and it'll stay in that state for a long time. So, Let's, take, let's make an example of that. For this particular procedure, what she might do is she would be actually trying to pull up her shoulder quite hard. So I'm going to come around and just sort of come behind her here. And what she's going to do is she's going to try to pull her shoulder, not her elbow, but she's going to try to pull her shoulder up. She's going to try to pull back pretty, pretty hard. That's right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the breathing, and she's going to try to pull back and then we're going to apply the manipulation. We're going to do the trigenics procedure. So here we go. Breathing and pulling back. Good. Good. Keep pulling. You're going to do it for about six seconds to get the maximum effect and let it go. And then you relax completely. And then your trigenics will take it to a different position. And they'll start again. And he or she will start at that position. Breathing in and pulling back. And letting it go. Let it relax. Good. And I'm going to do that one more time. Breathing in and pulling back. Beautiful. See, now it's unloading. Perfect. And that's much looser. And that, that muscle in there now is much longer. Where it was contracted before, it's much looser and longer. Those are basically the two procedures that you're going to have applied. There may be a couple of other different procedures that uh, we haven't spoken about here today. but. That is the extent of your interactive participation in the trigenics myoneural procedures.